How's it going, Aid Imaging fans? Welcome back for another Two Minute Tuesday. In today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to talk about color grading multiple cameras from our ADA lineup. So this can be PDZs to uh, our POV cameras to our box cameras. So they're all the same process, and this is just a quick and easy way on how to color grade them really efficiently and make sure that they don't change on you while you're doing your production. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so right in front of me, I have the PDZ X20 IP and our HD NDI 200. So in order to color grade these, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull up the feeds for them. So right here, this is gonna be our PDZ X20 IP. And you're gonna notice the background is a little like, you know, dark turquoise -ish. And you're gonna notice that as soon as I move out of the scene too, it's gonna start changing colors, right? So depending on where I am, the colors are gonna change. And then I have our HD NDI 200 right here. And you're gonna notice that the green is a lot brighter, right? So if I slowly transition, you'll notice that the color difference is pretty big, right? And you don't want that. You want, in some production, you wanna make sure that the colors match at least, you know, the best they can. That way it doesn't look like you're jumping scenes or you're changing locations or sets or anything like that. So the easiest way to do it in between cameras or any kind of combination of these cameras is to do white balance one push. So we're gonna go ahead and we have our HD NDI 200 first. We're gonna start off by going into the menu. So go ahead and use the, uh, the joystick, right? And then we're going to go to image and then under image you're going to find white balance mode so it's an auto right you're going to go ahead and change it to one push or push in this case so in this case in order to do this operation all you need is a blank white piece of paper and you're going to go ahead and cover the lens the best you can with the white piece of paper and then you're going to go ahead and press one push so once you do that it's going to calibrate so you saw the the screen flicker a little bit it's going to calibrate and it's going to stick on this setting right this color setting so you don't want it to change just like i mentioned and now if we go ahead and we switch over to our ptz we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we're going to go to image and we're going to go to white balance mode and we're going to go do one push as well push and then we're going to cover it up and we're going to go ahead and click it and then it's going to calibrate and there you have it so now if we go ahead and we take a look the sets are the best they can match and they're not going to change on you right so if you put your hand in front the color is not going to change so that's very important for production and done so really quick tutorial on our white balance um very important to do like i mentioned before if you want to get consistent coloring in your production but if you did enjoy this content please leave a like comment subscribe and ring the notification bell that way when we release another two minute tuesday you're in the loop Thanks for watching as always and have a great day.